gonna work that line, that line, get a good convex section set up to, to show you. Um, so I'm just gonna shut up here and hammer. I've got my line is actually stopping right there so it stops at that point it's going to get blended out um, oops, pencil rolling away but at this point I'm just going to kind of work it right up to that stop point and then I'll I'll leave that for the moment that's what I'll come back with later tend to like to establish all the areas where I have really clear lines that I'm going to be working on. Draw this so I've got my clear target. Hopefully you can see as I kind of finish working over an area, I try to really get it all so it's smoothing out and has more fluid flowing curves at this stage. Whereas with that initial rough end, I'm not really worried about that. I kind of flop back and forth between the narrow face and the wider face. With the narrow face, it seems like I'm putting more of my force on a smaller surface so I can push it a little deeper, a little harder, whereas the broader face, well, it spreads out the force more. So here I'm getting towards the end of the line. I usually finish with the broader face as I'm getting to that because I want to I wanna broadly smooth that out. Here now we're kind of getting to the point, try and get this at different angles so you can see. I've got my concave area going here, and then there's this bulge, the convex zone. So this is where I'm going to switch over from the, the rounded hammer to the one with the flatter face to work in there. 